So really quick, today I'd like to go over my favorite 2022 Marvel Legends so far. Now I had to make some rules for this. So basically the rules are anything I was able to acquire before June 30th. Now yeah, you had to have a cutoff point. That's perfect end of the middle part of the year. So in that unfortunately i did not get my armored spider-man till around july 3rd so he only gets an honorable mention here um i do like this figure he may hit he may be able to get into the top 10 of the year when i do that list but um uh, he, he's omitted now because of that his review should be going up about the same time as this one so or just a few days after so uh, look out for that so let me run down my favorite figures of the last year to this point. Number 10, Hulk 30th Anniversary Edition. This was a figure I didn't even think I was going to pick up until I actually saw him in person. And I saw him in person and he looked a lot better in person than the pictures I had seen on, the, on reviews. And the only thing I don't really like about him is kind of the way the hair lays on the head. I, that, that part bothers me past that i actually prefer this green to most of the other greens that they've ever used on hulk i think it just looks fantastic and the accessories he comes with are fun and he's just an all-around great figure that mold of course is, is great we all know that it's been used several times for several other characters or several other versions of the hulk so but this version of the hulk i really do like i thought he was pretty cool so I had to put him in on number 10 here number nine the shocker I really just I've always enjoyed the shocker as a character I enjoy his look I just think he's a cool looking character and that's really the only reason he ended up here I just thought this was a really great figure of a really great character um, and you know character wise okay he's not that great but he looks great I, I mean he's got a look he's it's everything and I love that they sculpted in all the quilts on him a lot of people complain that they weren't painted. I'm okay with them not being painted. I really am. I think he looks just fine. Number eight, Sleepwalker. I, I was so shocked when this one actually came out because I was like, I could not believe anyone would do a Sleepwalker Marvel Legend. That was a surprise to me, and I'm so glad they did because I really, I've always been a big fan of Sleepwalker, and if you said they were going to do a sleepwalker i said you're crazy there's no way they'll ever do a sleepwalker and lo and behold there he is <laughs> and so i was really surprised by this one it really kind of kicked in um it, it kind of kicked me into oh i need to really catch up on my marvel legends again don't i so um yeah i, I gotta put him on the list i i just really he's just really a character i really like Next, Quasar. Walgreens exclusive. Boo. Quasar. Yay. Um, I really do like Quasar. Um, I always liked his comic from the 90s. And it was a comic that got heavily ignored back then. But I always liked it. It was good cosmic fun. And, um, you know, I point out again. People say his classic costume. It's kind of his neo-classic costume. But that's all right. Um, it was a character I always enjoyed, and, uh, and I like that they gave him this outfit too. I thought it was one of his. I did think it was one of his best costumes. So I'm really, really happy to have a Wendell Vaughn in my collection. Next, Ben Riley Spider-Man. As I've said before, and I'll say again, Spider-Man, um, Ben Riley Spider-Man. I always kind of really love that look. I remember I had the. Uh, five inch um from uh to from toy biz way back in the day the five inch version of this from the spider-man line i really enjoyed that look um I, you know i think i said in the review and, I, and i'll say it again that one um it simply um has all the elements of a spider-man costume but manages to do them differently and different enough to make it unique so i really enjoyed it Okay, 
next is animated wolverine and some people crap all over the cell shading on this i think the cell shading isn't that bad i think i would have placed them higher without it but i still think it's a very cool figure i really love the uh, rounded uh the rounded claws um i know people say it goes harks back to anime series i always say it harks back to john burns run which i thought was spectacular uh with him as the artist and again it's just hits every nail on the head of wolverine that head sculpt is just fantastic next walgreens exclusive baron zemo this one came in just under the wire and it was a hard one because i was like oh is it the newness of the figure no it is the character i do really like zemo i'm glad to have a really good figure of him this is the this is the figure i wanted of him for the longest time and i'm really happy with this so i had to put him fairly high on the list number four is pretty good but he's got some great stuff in front of him getting down to the nitty-gritty number three ravager thor love this figure love this figure um people still point to this is a rip off of Th thunderstrike i see where people get it i don't think that's the case it's too different but i really like the look of the figure and how he poses and um i just think it's a good head sculpt of chris hemsworth and i'm not a big mcu figure guy but this one won me over really quickly i really like it and so that's why it gets number three number two walmart exclusive doctor strange comic edition comic version love this figure he comes with so many dang accessories and i mean he's got three different heads different uh ways to put his hands the spell effects even work because they are multicolored instead of one color normally a spell effects people i'm just like Bleh. but no nah, the spell effects look great and number one and i know some people are going to get mad at me for this one and despite the fact that that shield is bonkers 30th 20th anniversary captain america i simply love this figure this was the 80th <laughs> it's so funny to say 80th anniversary and then a year a couple of years later say 20th anniversary because we're talking about two different anniversaries but um the color is what wins me over on this one i love it much better than the darker colors of the 80th anniversary one and i think this is a mold that's pretty great I, this could possibly have been a top figure of all time for me had it not been for that shield and even with that shield it's still a great figure it's still an awesome figure i know what they were trying to do with the shield and i commend them for doing something different but it ends up ruining an otherwise almost perfect action figure but still my favorite for 2022 so far now we've got a lot of stuff on the pipeline and a lot of stuff yet to be revealed so this could change very easily We'll see what happens at the end of the year, but that's going to do it for Infinite Realms. Don't forget to like and subscribe.